Many parents know that taking pills can be a real nightmare for some children. Even many adults have trouble swallowing medication. Difficulty in swallowing medication can have huge implications for a child's health and for a family's stress level. Especially in families already challenged by life-threatening illnesses, the added problem of getting the life-saving treatment into their child represents an enormous emotional burden. Over the last five years, my students and I have developed and tested a new method for teaching pill swallowing. The new method involves learning to swallow with one's head in different positions, which makes it easier for medication to go down. It's surprising to people to swallow with their head in any position other than center, so it takes practice. The technique typically requires only 30 minutes to learn, followed by two weeks of that daily practice, usually just five minutes a night, using candy. The approach has been completely successful in the group of children willing and physically able to try it. Some children are too ill to follow the practice. We think children could also learn from watching this video rather than having to be trained by healthcare staff individually. This is all you need to get started. A glass of water and some candies. Make sure the candies are heavier hard candies not the gummy ones or very light ones that are used in cake decorating. We often use miniature M&Ms or Tic Tacs. Let's begin with some information. All you need to know is the following. The tube that goes from your mouth to your stomach is called the esophagus and it is much wider than any pill you would ever have to swallow. Let's compare one of the candies to the size of the esophagus. The esophagus is also very flexible, soft tissue. Stick your tongue in your cheek like this. Now remove it. See how easily the cheek flexes and then bounces back? So does your esophagus. That's why you are able to swallow bites of food that are much, much wider than the size of the esophagus that I've shown you. Now there's one other bit of information before we begin some swallowing. Everyone eats and swallows with their head center forward. But it turns out that when we swallow with our head turned to the side, there is a little spasm in the esophagus and it opens wider. I sometimes think I can hear it. Listen. Did you hear it? Now to the left. Excellent. We call that the unk noise. For that reason, we find that lots of people prefer swallowing pills with their head turned to the side. The esophagus opens up wider and the pill goes down more easily. But some people like to swallow with their head up. They say it is easier for the pill to slide down their throat. As if their tongue is a ski jump and it is a straight shot then down the hill and through the esophagus and even other people like to swallow with their chin down because they say it is more relaxing in the neck. So the bottom line is we need to find the most comfortable position for you and that will take two weeks of homework. Want to know what the homework is? It's swallowing candy. Okay, now we are ready to try the positions. Let's begin with just water. So now we're going to practice just with water, okay? Shoulders back is very important. In fact, sometimes I ask the kids to do their homework standing up because when we sit, we kind of tend to slouch, okay? But you have very good posture. So let's try just sitting up, shoulders back. Would you take the water? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just watch you. Okay. Would you swallow some straight ahead, just a small amount? Okay, you do that over 600 times a day, so I'm not surprised you're excellent at it. Now would you do it with your head to the right? Perfect. And I think I heard that lunk. Okay, now to the left. Excellent. And now up. Good. And now down. Good. You were an excellent model there too, Haley, because it is very important to get the water into your mouth before you assume <laughs> the position, okay? 
And now let's try with a candy. You pick one out. Place the candy in your mouth, move it to the back of your tongue, and take a sip of water and assume your chosen position before swallowing. Go down. Good. How did that work? Let me tell you about the areas that sometimes cause a few problems. First of all, how is your posture? It's really important to have your shoulders back. And sometimes it's easier to avoid slouching if you practice standing up. Secondly, is the candy getting onto the back of your tongue? If not, let me teach you how ducks swallow. We call it the duck shake. Have you ever watched a duck swallow? Now maybe you don't need to shake your whole body, but it really helps to shake the candy to the back of your tongue, then assume your position and swallow. The third problem area sometimes is water. How much water are you using? Sometimes people think using more water is a good idea, but we find that especially for young children, too much water makes them lose control of the candy. It kind of floats into their cheeks. So try taking only a little sip of water. Okay, got that? Let's review. Place the candy on the back of your tongue. Take a little sip of water. Do the duck shake. Assume your position. Swallow. Do that every evening, one candy in each of the five positions. We have found that children change their preferred position over the course of two weeks, and so that's why we ask that they record what each one felt like. I think it's a good idea. It helps them pay attention to how it felt when they have to write it down. Here are the rating sheets that we use. Maybe you'll want to use something like them. The method of off-center swallowing can be taught and learned easily. Four different studies with adults and children have proven that it works. Even three quarters of the people with no problem swallowing pills at all told us that they found a position they liked better than the center position. Some children who have had bad experiences with swallowing pills may be understandably afraid to try this method. It must be emphasized that our studies have found that 14 days of repetition and practice are essential to success. Very few children get it on the first day. Once the effort is put in, most people are pleasantly surprised by how easy and effective this method is. One little five-year-old girl was so proud of her results, she taught her entire kindergarten class. Others have told me they plan to study it as part of their science fair projects, and still others have taught their grandparents. We hope this method will make it easier for people of all ages to swallow medication with minimal discomfort and difficulty. We'd like to thank everyone who has been involved in this project for the last five years. That includes the students who did part of the work as their thesis topics and research topics, the clinic staff who helped us find volunteers, the three or four hundred people in the city who did volunteer for our various studies, and of course the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation who assisted us with funding.